What's up guys, this week we're going to Hendrick Motorsports in Charlotte, North Carolina. What's up guys, I'm Ronnie Feist, and on this channel we give you weekly advice, motocross tips, and vlogs to help inspire you to reach all of your life goals. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. So I've had this footage for a while, and I've finally gotten a chance to sit down and edit it. So me and my wife Mel got invited to go out to Hendrick Motorsports out in Charlotte, North Carolina. So Hendrick Motorsports is one of the biggest and best teams in NASCAR. They got 12 titles not only they got one of the best teams in nascar they're all over america i'm sure you've seen hendrick chevrolet or hendrick lexus or S hendrick Sutton. they're all over america with car dealerships and they come from a cool family racing background and always in the cars all right what's up guys we're out here at the hendrix motorsports headquarters and we're going to be doing a tour today checking it out hanging out with our buddy donnie floyd so come check this place out The tour was amazing. I, we got to see everything all behind the scenes and I, we can't even share a lot of the stuff that we got to see. We, we're only allowed to share what, what you guys saw. That's all we could show you. But we got to see Mr. Hendrick's uh, personal car collection, which is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. I can't even explain to you how cool and big this was. It was insane. Tell the whole story. Uh, of his family history and stuff. It was a really cool experience. Um, we got to meet tons of employees and just see how each section is just preparing for the races. So it was just really great to get a glimpse into uh, behind the scenes of NASCAR and one of the greatest teams. His job's the hardest on the left front. Because he's behind, he, and he feels behind. But he's got to be disciplined to just go hit five lug nuts. Sometimes you might be disciplined, he still miss, right? But that's, his job becomes the hardest because he's last, you know? Yeah. Everyone's going to be waiting for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. got to know that, accept that, and just do a good job, yeah. you know? It's really cool is we can go and study it. We can look at their, we can look at his helmet camera and slow it down. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to see everything happen yeah. when you're going that fast. So yeah. when we can slow it down, we can see exactly. Study it. Then it's so cool because it's like you guys train just like a team would 
like yeah. video is the best yeah. way in all sports. Exactly. Like I exactly. use video yeah. all through my career and self coach myself on every trick I learn. And if you guys are doing the same thing, it's football use it, baseball, everybody uses it. So it's like that's why when I rolled up, I'm like, dude, these dudes are athletes. I'm like, these dudes ain't just changing tires. I'm like, these dudes are guys. This is Ronnie and Mel. How's it going, man? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Guys doing a great job. Yeah, no, it's all good. You guys are getting after it. It's hot out here today, huh? <laughs> what I really enjoyed was seeing the crew practice. I just really connected with that because these guys were were going like filming it on the clock. Every second matters, you know? And I just was like, man, you know, I never really thought that the crew would actually train, but then when I got there and I seen them training, I'm like, why wouldn't they train? This is racing, this is competitive, every second matters. So it was really cool to see those guys in their element, training, studying the videos, and I just, I appreciate that a ton because that's just how, you know, most athletes do train. And like I said, these dudes, are, are not just tire changers. They're not just mechanics. These guys are athletes. These dudes are shredded. They got their own gym they train at during the week. They're out there sweating bullets and humidity and Charlotte just getting after. So really cool to see that. I uh, really enjoyed uh, meeting those guys. It's a great group of guys. So the Hendricks family is a great family. Tons of history. Great story. You can go to their website and go online and just read the history of the family and the company. And uh, it's a really, really uh, story cool story to follow. But what we really got connected with is is their faith and that's why we were there. They're they're a Christian family, they're they're believers. They have an in-house chaplain named Donnie Floyd and every Wednesday at lunch they get together. It's it's open to all the employees and they get together and Donnie shares the word and uh, with the employees. So it's a time for the employees to get together and to hear the word of God. I think that's really cool because this company and this team is out on the road on the weekends racing every Sunday. They're going racing. So they they wouldn't have an opportunity to be in church on Sundays because they're out racing. So they give that opportunity to their employees on Wednesdays to gather at lunchtime. So that's the reason why they brought us out there. We got to share our testimonies. We had a time of worship. We got to pray with people and got to meet people. And uh, it was a great time. And the last cool thing that we got to do was stop by the Billy Graham Museum on the way out and just take a glimpse into his life and how God used him. So it's just pretty cool to uh, see uh, <laughs> this uh, amazing life of Billy Graham and how he touched so many people uh, all around the world for the name of Jesus. So it was pretty cool. Really enjoyed that. All right. Can you mail? I think you should use this one. Yeah, hey, do whatever. We're at the Billy Graham Library, Billy Graham Museum. Mel's starting with her high rise mama jeans on. My mom jeans. So we don't know where we're going, but I'm trying to act like it. We're out here at the Billy Graham Museum, holding down. In 1949, several hundred churches in the Los Angeles area invited Billy to hold a revival in their city. Just before it was set to begin, he attended the retreat at Forest Home Conference Center. I tell you, Christ is the answer. Come to Christ. Come at the foot of his cross and let it touch your mind and your heart and relax your soul and your heart. Then we shall know love for our fellow man that knows no bounds. And we shall love our neighbors as ourselves. God is a God of love and mercy and grace and forgiveness. He doesn't want you to die. He doesn't want you to go to judgment. He doesn't want you to go to hell. And God says, because of the cross, I will forgive you. Me and Mel just want to say thank you for inviting us out to Hendrix Motorsports. We had a great time. We love you guys. We love what you stand for. We love your story. We love your faith in the Lord and your love for your employees. And we just felt so welcome there and loved and just so appreciated. Just the way the whole company is just so professional, so high end, and so just ran so well. It was just a blessing to be there and be a part of that. So thank you guys, and we uh, hope to be back soon, and I'm sure we'll see you out at the Kansas Speedway uh, on race weekends. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this edit. If you were feeling it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody else that might dig it, be sure to share it, and make sure you comment down below and let me know what you thought. You guys in that NASCAR, who's your favorite driver? What do you think? Let me know down below. Until next time, we're signing off here on The Feist Life.